Singapore's newest Apple Store is one of the most unique in the world. Like a shining glass soccer ball kicked off the city's edge into the sea, the stark structure sits in the waters of Singapore's glamorous Marina Bay and positioned in a way that makes it appear to float. It has an airy modern interior and sits against a backdrop of skyscrapers in the heart of the intensely modern Asian city. The Marina Bay store opened in September 2020, after a four-year planning and construction process, it's located in one of Asia's most iconic locations, and from inside it offers a full 360-degree panoramic view of the city. The building's glass structure is made up of 114 windows, and only 10 structural supports, so the panoramic view of the marina is almost totally unobstructed. Each purpose-made window is 12 meters in length, a huge piece of beautifully curved glass. The glass fades, getting darker the higher up the structure you look, with clear view highlighting clarity at eye level outside. The building highlights reflections of the pristine water of the bay and the lights of the towering nearby skyscrapers, which include the 245-meter sail building and the 207-meter Marina Bay Sands Hotel. With its top-floor swimming pool, like many Apple stores, the interior of the Singapore glass ball feels spacious, with a number of tables displaying all the latest products. But also filled with open space, the tables themselves are carefully individually lit to ensure Apple's tech is shown in the best light. A low overall ambient light also ensures the eye is drawn to the store's two most important features, the products and the view. The store's interior space is also lined with several trees, carefully positioned to add to the careful shading of the place. That shading is mainly provided by custom-built sun protection that stretches right around the top of the glass dome. The sun barriers or baffles are not just for blocking out the sun, they cool the building and at nighttime allow colorful lighting effects. Apple as a brand have long used open spaces and beautiful design to portray the luxury feel to customers that they want to surround their products, and this stunning design-focused space is no exception. The interior planting here is a neat green reflection of Singapore's garden city ethos and Apple's commitment to being carbon neutral by 2030. The oversized plant pots also double as welcoming seeds with leather padded edges. The central sphere at the heart of the store is entered via two walkways. One is an underwater passageway where Apple's products line the walls and the store's customary genius staff assist in exploring product options or fixing technical difficulties. This entrance is accessed via the exclusive Marina Bates Sands shopping mall and brings shoppers almost unwittingly under the water as they enter. The main entry though involves a stroll over the water and straight into the heart of the building. Elsewhere a private part of the building takes Apple executives under the water of the Marina Bay, back in the heart of the store. There's a forum with a huge screen and a stage area where product presentations take place. When it first opened, the store was so popular that it had to take bookings for slots to visit. Store was designed by Foster & Partners architecture firm, whose project lead David Summerfield said of the design the structure dissolves the boundary between the inside and outside, creating a minimal platform that floats gently in the water, looking out over the bay and the spectacular Singapore skyline, one of the key influences Foster & Partners had in mind when coming up with the concept for this building was the Pantheon in Rome. The 7th century Pantheon has a square portico at the front, and there's no sign of the pillars in the Apple building, but Apple Marina Bay's gentle interior dome and airy spherical space show obvious parallels with the temple. There's even an oculus at the highest point of the sphere, shining a dramatic beam of light down into the space below. As an added nighttime benefit, Apple's glass sphere has a perfect view of Marina Bay's spectacular water show spectra. It's a 15-minute four-part display of lights, fountains, lasers, projections, and special effects that runs outside the window every evening to a backdrop of a choreographed orchestral soundtrack. In fact all in all, the waterfront is one of the world's most modern and developed and has garnered a reputation as one of Singapore's key attractions. So naturally, a designer brand like Apple is happy to demand attention right in the heart of it. That said, it's not the first water-bound luxury shopping hub to find its way into Marina Bay. Designer label Louis Vuitton have their own island store just 150 meters away, being located in such a multinational hub. The Marina Bay store is set up to greet people from all over the world between them.
The team of 148 staff speak 23 different languages, they are the result of a long-established Apple team in Singapore. Apple has been in the city-state since 1981, when the young company began manufacturing many of its circuit boards for Apple II computers in the city, as well as the other two Apple Singapore retail locations. The Marina Bay store opened in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, to unexpected success, and continues to be one of the most popular attractions in all of Singapore. And another jewel in Apple's growing global retail empire. Thank you all for watching, make sure to subscribe and like the video, until then I'll see you in the next one.